Fat Boys Burger Bar, also known as Burger Bite Corner, is on Google Maps, so you can find it pretty easily. And if you don't find it that way, all you have to do is look for the big lineup of linemen and grab delivery guys. And that tells you how popular this place is because a lot of home deliveries get, uh, get uh, submitted here. They have an Italian soda bar out here at the front, and then they have uh, two tables out here on the street where you can sit there. Delivery guys are taking up those tables right now. And then they have some uh, casual seating on the inside, some tables and uh, wooden benches. This is cool. They have some suggestions right on the wall beside your table. So here are the Italian sodas, uh, 20 baht and you can get strawberry, kiwi, grape, pineapple, blue Hawaii. And then they have a couple of suggestions here for burgers. Well, they, they make burgers, like beef burgers, chicken burgers, fish, I believe, um, steak platters, and they make some salads as well. And there's a, a Taste of Japan burger with a Japanese flag on it. And this is the Fat Boys Ultimate Burger, which comes with uh, fries, um, fried egg, and uh, cheese. Oh, and they also make, uh, wow, look at that, Caesar salad. <laughs> that looks good too. I might have to combine a Caesar salad with one of, I'm gonna order a burger, but I think maybe I'll get the Caesar salad as well, because I'm really hungry. I was here last night. I met someone at my hotel who recognized me from uh, YouTube and a fellow Canadian and he knew about this place and he brought me here. So the two of us came, I had a chicken burger and he had a steak and my chicken burger was just out of this world. It was so good. I had the uh, barbecue chicken burger and that's why I'm back because it was so good. Your burgers here, like the pork burger, 55 baht crispy chicken burger, 55. My barbecue chicken burger with fries that I had yesterday, really good fries, also was uh, 55 baht. Oriental chicken burger, teriyaki chicken burger, fish burger, and then the um, Fat Boys special burger comes in at uh, 80 baht. And here's the uh, burger side of the menu that I was just reading from. And you can see they also have um, some salads, boiled egg, crispy chicken salad, grilled chicken salad. Uh, yeah, grilled chicken with Caesar salad, 95 baht. And they make a couple of pastas. And on the other side, we've got all of the uh, steaks. Uh, barbecue pork steak for 95 baht. Bacon wrapped pork steak for 110. German sausage and burger. So you get some German food here as well. Uh, chicken Alaska, teriyaki chicken steak. I mean, comfort food in the extreme. And there's the uh, logo, Fat Boys Burger Bar. Can I ask you a question about Fat Boys? <laughs> Where does the name come from? Fat Boys Fat Burger Bar. Bar. Maybe same say my body, Fat Boy. Is it named, is it named after you? Maybe my, my friend say, this is a joke, yeah. Okay. Fat Boy. Fat Boy, okay. How long have you been open? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Oh, okay. And you have just the one location, or do you have other Fat no, Boys? Just one. Do you ever think about opening a second one? Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Next time I have one lottery. <laughs> if you win a lottery. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, could I order? Yes. Um, see, I think I'll, could I have the teriyaki chicken burger? Yes, sir. And can you make the boiled egg salad? Yes, sir. And a uh, Italian soda? Yes, sir. Uh, pineapple? Pineapple. All right. Okay. How, 
Um, is it family owned? You run it with your family, this restaurant? Uh, my wife, my wife and my friend. Oh, okay. Who, who is the cook? Who does all the cooking? Me teach my wife for cook everything oh, okay. for me. But uh, my wife faster me. We go to uh, take order from customer. Ah, oh, okay. But okay. for all, all food, I teach my wife. Are you oh, okay? So you, the recipes are your your recipe. Oh, okay. All right. Now it's really good food. I really like it a lot. Thank you. So one mystery solved. I was very curious if he was in fact the uh, the fat boy in the name. You know, Fat Boy's Burger Bar, and he admitted, yes, he is the fat boy. <laughs> a joke name from his friends. And he was saying that um, the, like the recipes, the, the style of cooking is kind of coming from him. And, uh, but his wife is uh, in the back uh, cooking right now. And he's out here uh, taking orders. I'm not sure if it was reversed because last night when I was here, um, his wife was coming to our table and uh, taking our orders. So. But I asked him about opening another location, you know, kind of franchising, because, again, I'm so impressed with the quality of the food. Um, there's just something about it, the, the presentation and, and the taste and, uh, and the value, more, maybe more than Exciting news in the world of uh, Fat Boy's uh, Burger Bar. The owner came back to my table and he was carrying, uh, oh, this dish up here on the wall, the teriyaki chicken kebab. It's kind of a wrap, teriyaki chicken wrap. And there it is there. And he's quite proud of that dish and he says it's very, very good. And he saw that I'm making a video about the place, of course. So he wanted me to try that as part of my order. And um, after some discussion, so we changed my order to one chicken teriyaki kebab and one barbecue chicken burger like I had yesterday just to get a, a different flavor from the teriyaki and we decided that um, those two together is enough so we canceled the order for the boiled egg salad um, which yeah we'll, we'll do that for now and my Italian soda has arrived really looking forward to this I don't know where Italian sodas were all my life, but I kind of just discovered them in, in Thailand a couple of months ago. They're everywhere you find these Italian soda bars at the side of the street. But I always found them a bit intimidating to order from them because I didn't know what they made. They had all these bottles and all these jars with powders and I, I didn't know how to order. But now that I've mastered <laughs> the art of ordering from the Italian soda bar, I have them all the time. And this is the... Um, Pineapple, Italian soda. Ah. I hardly need to report on what I think of it because I know I'm going to love it. Mm. Yeah, very nice. I love that. <laughs> I had this last night as well. In fact, with my uh, Canadian dining partner, we ended up having uh, two Italian sodas during the evening. I had the pineapple. And then we had a second one, the, um, I forget what flavor we had, maybe kiwi, maybe kiwi was the second one, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a crazy night as far as Italian sodas were concerned. Things are happening here at the Fat Boys Burger Bar. My food has started to arrive, and there it is. Now you tell me, was I lying about how good this burger is? No, I wasn't lying. And you know, you wish you had one of these in front of you right now. There it is. Looks so good. Thick piece of chicken, really nicely, uh, nicely cooked. If, if my burger from last night is anything to go by. The teriyaki chicken kebab has arrived. Look at that. And that is definitely a meal all on its own. <laughs> there it's that is, that is amazing. So I may end up, we'll see whether I'm able to finish both of these or not. We'll see. 
let's dig into the burger first. Again, I don't think I'll have anything surprising to say about it. I mean, look, look at the size of it compared to my hands, and I don't have exactly small hands either. Ah, looks so good. Mm. I'm no foodie expert, as everyone probably already knows, but so good. A little bit of a bite to it, you know, it's got some spice going on, but it's nothing I can't handle. I was worried that this might be uh, too much food for me, but I don't think there's any real worry about that. <laughs> Turns out going to a museum for most of the day builds up an appetite. So good. I thought the burger on its own came with fries, but I guess you have to order that. Order that as a side when you order the burger at the same time, so remember that. If you want the fries with it, order the burger and fries. I thought it I thought they came together, but I guess not. That's okay right now because these two sandwiches will be more than enough. And I had the fries yesterday, and they're really good. They're classic, thick, nicely um, deep fried uh, fries. Really good. It's gone. <laughs> now we're moving on to the uh, second half of my meal, and that is the teriyaki, chicken teriyaki tortilla. I think I kind of called it a uh, kebab earlier. So I think he said kebab at one point, but on the sign here they call it the American tortilla. So that's what you want to ask for if you come here to get this. So uh, yeah, the uh, teriyaki tortilla. And uh, to go along with it, I ordered another Italian soda. This time I went for the uh, blue Hawaii. Yeah, blue Hawaii. I don't know what the flavor is. Is blue a flavor? <laughs> I don't think so. If it were a flavor, that is what it would taste like. That's blue. Mm. I think the pineapple was quite a bit better, I think, than the, the blue. I think the appeal for this one is just the fun, uh, fun color. But. Mm. Still good. Okay, let us uh, unwrap my... How do you, how do you approach this? Um, wrapped up in that tin foil on the inside. Let's just tear back some of the uh, paper. Start unwrapping the foil. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, I think I might have to put this one, uh, put it down. Oh, look at that. Ah, the, uh, the tortilla wrap is um, the black one. I noticed they have this Taste of Japan black series burger where the, the bun is actually black and it looks like this uh, teriyaki tortilla has a black uh, tortilla shell around it. Let's get a bit of video uh, close up of this. I've made a bit of a mess of the, the wrapping, as you can see. But um, yeah, there it is there. Look at all that chicken, teriyaki chicken, and then the black uh, tortilla wrap on the outside. Very interesting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, this could be challenging. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make a complete mess here. I've never been the best at eating with, uh, with my hands. But uh, this wrap, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. There it is there. Let's, uh, yeah, just dive in and see what happens. Mmm. said it was also 
teriyaki. It's more of a, a sweeter sauce. And the chicken is crispy. It has sort of a crispy texture on the outside. So it has a whole different, um, whole different thing going on compared to the burger. And I think I'm tasting some peanut. There's definitely some nut, something going on in there. there Maybe some peanuts in there too. Unless I'm imagining things. And I'm doing pretty well with this wrap. I like this black wrapping because it's, um, it's got some strength to it actually. And it's really holding together well. Mm. For some reason it makes me think of being on a construction site. Say if you're working as a day laborer or a carpenter, lunchtime, someone goes for the lunch order and they come back with like a whole bunch of these and that is your lunch. That would be an amazing lunch when you're out working all day. Dinner is over. I didn't show any of the final stages of my tortilla because things kind of fell apart towards the end. There was a real sticky uh, disaster going on. But that was all my fault because I didn't strategically unwrap the foil and the paper towards the end. I just kind of ripped it all off and uh, that was not a wise move. You kind of want to hold that shape as long as possible to get down to the end. There was so much in that tortilla, so much chicken, so much lettuce and other vegetables and the sauce. When I tore off the uh, foil at the end, I mean, the sauce just came pouring out. It was so, mm, very good. Absolutely loved it. So that was the, uh, yeah, American uh, tortilla. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can, can I ask you one or two more questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, with the, um, the tortilla, mm. was there peanuts in there? Was there like I thought I tasted some peanut flavor? Uh, no, have uh, it teriyaki sauce and vegetable. Okay, teriyaki sauce. Is there a okay. special ingredient in the teriyaki sauce? No, have no <laughs> secret. Have um, uh, just a uh, simple teriyaki. Okay. Have mirin and uh, uh, soy sauce. Okay. Yeah. That was really good. I noticed you have some German flags. And German sausage. Yes, have, so uh, what is your connection to Germany? I for German sausage. I make by myself. Though. Okay. Yes, have. Okay, it's just because you make German sausage. Yes, have. Why did you decide to do that to make German sausage? Oh, long you, time. You did you go to Germany? Long time ago, I'm um, a musician. I play guitar. Okay. In uh, Chiang Mai, Bangkok, I have many many restaurants in Thailand. Oh. And and I like to eat uh, Western food. Uh, talk with uh, talk with chef, many many chef, and I like and ask some some question for ingredient for recipe. Ah, yes, sir. Okay. and my father-in-law is uh, American. We make uh, Western food together many many times. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, do you still play the guitar now? Yes, I still play, but uh, now I'm open shop. Ah. You, you could play for your customers. Maybe next time, <laughs> because I'm very old now. <laughs> right, okay. My friend now, uh, he many, many, my friend is uh, playing guitar in Chiang Mai. Oh, in, in, yeah. he does. I noted while I was sitting here having dinner, I noticed so many orders going out for home delivery. Yes, so the past year, has home delivery become bigger and bigger? Yes, come. Yeah. How, how many orders do you make per day? It seems like you cook a lot of food. Yes, maybe more than 100. <laughs> Easily more than 100, I think. Yes, Captain. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. It was thank a good you very meal. much, Captain. Okay, yeah. Maybe I'll see you, see see you, you again. See you, Captain. I noticed the, uh, the Caesar salad on your menu. Uh, Is that a common yes, meal? Yes, uh, Tomorrow you're still in... I'm still here, yeah. Tomorrow, uh, invite to my shop. I make the salsa for you, Captain. Caesar salad? Captain. Okay, I'd like to try it. Captain, yes, All right. Captain. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. So, that is uh, the owner himself, and seems like he 
if I followed the story, it was really interesting that he used to be a musician and play the guitar, and he was playing in restaurants or cafes all over Thailand. And every time he went to a new restaurant and was playing with the band or playing himself, he would talk to the chef about the food that they were making and get ideas for, you know, get ideas for himself. And he eventually opened up his own restaurant. So there you have it. Whoa. I'm out here on the steps a, uh, yeah, of the Fat Boy uh, Burger Bar. Come check it out next time, if you are ever in uh, Kampong Fet. <laughs>